Yeah, in the Bronx. Zoo. Get their names from the look of the mail Where are we going now? There's no more back to the fence. Um, it's now they're also the there. Also, there's a swamp deal because they love that. What we're seeing right here in the Bronx. Zoo. What's the back of smaller animals? Our black buck antelope and our spotted axis deer. Now again, they love the buck. Got to the far right, that buddy patch. They love the deer. Far right, that buck. They also love the buck. That's a beautiful deer. God made creepy beautiful creatures. Uh huh. Now the next animal blends in with the buddy area. It calls home. If you wow. see, it looks like a pig with a baton standing up to the top right of the snout and curved back towards his eyes. You found a pig called the Babarusa. And the fact that the Babarusa. Babarusa. Babarusa means pig deer in the mainland language. Wow. Now, male will use the tusks to fight with other males to display dominance in order to attract other females. Now, they're gray in color, so they blend in very well with the exhibit. As we're approaching, and pass by our bamboo thicket. Coming up on the right. Now, you see Kenneth. Kenneth is laying right before that rock. If you look between the bamboo, he's laying right on his head. Now, he does have those tusks. So as you come up, back to the left, you see his tusks. That's Kenneth. Kenneth. Now, the second thing, we have two females that will not have those tusks. They're laying right before the tree down there. They do have those long snouts. Now, Bob Lewis says they'll pick there. Now, again, I'm going to ask everyone to please remain seated because we're about to see the world's largest land mammal. And, of yeah. course, we're talking about our Asian elephant. Oh, I'm going to say elephant, y'all. Asian is closer, but she's far to the right. That's Patty, our Asian elephant. Oh, and there wow. she is. Now, that large tree that you see by the chipper pool, that's an elephant-sized back scratcher. Oh, the elephant now, African and Asian elephants are iconic animals worldwide, but they're struggling the wild. And the elephant. first thing that you notice about this lovely lady, even from this distance, is her size. Yeah. Asian elephants can weigh more than 10,000 pounds. Oh. So they have a lot of vegetation. Oh, On top of that, Patty eats about 200 pounds of hay a day. Ooh. She drinks about 60 yeah. gallons of water, folks. <laughs> that is per day. Now, which that elephant, elephant here, so you can see her trunk, elephant. because only Asian elephants have this adaptation. She has a finger-like feature on the her trunk, the which is can pick right? up a blade of grass. All with that yeah. same trunk, she can tear down all these tree branches out here with enormous force. Oh. That trunk holds more than 40,000 muscles. It's an incredible tool. Now, folks, right Hattie's here. over 50 years old. She's over 50. <laughs> now, here at the Bronx, we do take very yeah. good care of our elephants. They not only get see. back, but they get pedicures as well, and they deserve they it. They get pedicures. That is Patty, oh, our Asian elephant. They get pedicures. Yes. And as we yes. leave our elephant zone, we're now to look out for another large mammal. This one tends to weigh around 3,500 pounds. Oh, you can see it from here. There's a horn in this nose, and it looks to be armor plated. But nothing can be further from the truth when you're talking about a rhinoceros skin. And today, folks, we have our Priya and Patrick. Our greater one horn rhino is also known as the Indian rhinoceros. Now, Priya is the mom, and Patrick is her son. Wow. I'm going to scoot around because I know that they're on the other side. As we do, I'm going to give you some facts. Now, all rhinos are highly endangered. It's about 30.